Hey guys, welcome back. You may not recognize this voice because it's me, Chase, the Wizatara's brother. So I'll be taking over the channel for a little bit until he gets back in a few years. But until then, just expect content from me. So today this video is going to be all about, like, cantrips. They just got added to Wizard 101 in the last spring update, and they're magic that you can use outside of, camp outside of combat. It can do really cool things, like, you can just cast a flip, you can show your school, like, what school your symbol is. So for me, it's death, and it looks really cool, as you see. It shows the death symbol. You can also levitate with it. You can also use it, it'll give you health, or mana, or even both. It gives, it gives you fishing luck. You can teleport. To the main areas of all of the worlds from these you can also get a second teleport mark which is why you see me have two here one for mana and then one for cantrips and eventually they'll be able to aid in combat one of the teasers that KI sent out showed someone using a unicorn in the combat even though they were not in the battle although the biggest thing you can do right now is open special new chests which you see in the intro when you're doing cantrips. There's a chest, and then there's three, like, empty circles, and when you cast spell Magic Touch on them, it'll fill in one of the dots and make it green. And once three people fill it out, then you get the stuff inside. So, normally in the game, you can only get up to level four through free spells without crafting the treasure cards that you need to. So, without casting the treasure cards, you'll only be able to get up to level 4, so some people usually get stuck here. But through through crafting, you can get up to rank 8, as you see, which can get you up to level 9 in cantrips, which is what I did. It took me a few days, and a ton of ni nightshade and other reagents. But now I'm going to talk to you about um, what you need to do to get the tier upgrades to upgrade from cantrip all the way up to level 9. So starting at level 1, the most efficient and quickest way to level up all the way up to level 2 is to use the magic touch spell 4 times. Well, a total of 4 times since you have to do it in the intro. So and then for the second time... The quickest, well, not the quickest, but the most efficient way is to use Rainmaker or Paper, Rock, Scissors. But if that seems pretty slow to you and you just want to get up to level 3 as fast as you can, just come over here, craft Healing 2. And what Healing 2 does is 20 energy, which the amount of energy that it costs to cast is how much experience you will get for uh, leveling up. So... Yeah. And then the quickest way to get from level 3 to level 4 is to use a spell that you get for free, again, from Hampshire Butterfield. I just said that wrong. But the quickest way is to cast this spell called Major Invisibility. When you cast it, it'll just turn you invisible for, for 15 minutes until you move. So, yeah, I'm invisible. But, you can also spin around, I'm pressing A and D right now to spin, but, yeah. So, until you move, and then it just does it again. Two minute cooldown on the spell, um, which is, every two minutes, just cast it again, and you should be up to level five. Well, level four. Sorry. And then, this is where it starts getting a little tough, because you'll need to start making treasure cards to be able to get up to level five. So, the way that I did it, and I think most people will do it, is you go over here, and you craft 15 sneak cards. The hardest part will be probably the water lilies, which you can get from a reagent loop that was in a previous video on this channel. So, you'll also just do that 15 times, 300 energy, not too bad yet. And then, after that, you'll need to make a spell called Mana 1, which... Pretty easy diamonds rough though so and once you make that you'll need to make 14 of them and then 
after you make 14 of them, then you need to use for all 14 of those to make 14 more of the spell called Mana 2. And then after that, you'll need to make 14 Mana 3. And the toughest part of this might be Frost Flower and Grendelweed, which again, it's in that same reagent loop as that Cattail and Water Lily one in a previous video on the channel. So that's it to get up to level 6. And for level 6 is when you get the cool spell, the second recall. For the second recall, what you can do with it is you can put down two markers here. See how I have two? One from the marking with mana, and the other from cantrips, which I guess we gotta wait for the cooldown. But, yeah, so cooldown's done. So, it's 30 energy, so not that bad. It's free, but it will need to be casted 17 times. So you just cast it. You go to the other mark. And the thing that's cool about it is it keeps the other mark down. So you don't have to place another mark again. So that's getting up to level 7. So after that, it starts getting a bit tougher here. Where you're going to have to make 15 of this spell healing 4. So to start out, you'll make the healing 1... Healing 2, Healing 3, Healing 4, which Nightshade, oh, that was tough for me. But Healing 4, you'll need to make 15 of them, and once you do that, 40 energy, just cast it 15 times, which, it's pretty cool in my opinion. Like, when you cast it, it, like, puts a dome over your head, and you just get healing over time. Pretty nice. So... Just do that 15 times, you should be good. And then the hardest part, again, well not the hardest part, but one more really hard part, was heal and mana for. So this one on the first page here, heal and mana one, not too bad, well, never mind. And then level two, level three, level four. But if you're really into fishing, you could also do fishing to get the tier eight because fishing just Fish. I'm not a big fishing guy, so that's why I didn't really do it. So, I guess each time it just gets harder. More rare fish. So, it, it's also level 8, which is nice. So, that should be it for you to get up to level 9. Very nice. So, yeah. Hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Wizard Tarnation Discord, link in the description. In the Discord, you can feel for us. Feel free to ask me any questions, I'd be happy to help. I also have plenty of pets there that you can lend for free. Very good pets. See this pet? It's the immunity pet. So, see you guys next time, and join the Wizard Nation.